So yeah, we're I'm still back. stuck in this dungeon. This whole episode's gonna be this dungeon, I can tell. <laughs> Very funny. Nah, it's not that bad. Yeah, this place is nearly as bad as the well in question. <laughs> Alright, so. Now that we have the magic hammer, we can hit those weird little things that have big smirks. Not once you hit them, though. Yeah. No. And we can go through here. Now you may notice that the door is shut, but there is a switch in the corner. But when you walk off it, it doesn't work. So we gotta weigh down the switch with these statues of what looks like a legendary hero or something. Actually, it does kind of look like Link. Except with a giant ass helmet that is really awesome looking. Aside from that, though, we got more of these guys. Because they totally were a challenge before, right? Or this. And one of the only examples of this puzzle in the game, there's only two of these actually. You shoot the statue in the eye and it opens up more of the door. I believe there's another one in the ice palace. And we get this awesome earthquake shaking effect again. And we get a giant downward staircase. with more of these things. Oh. Well then. I saw another one. I didn't. I think we're good. So yeah, we gotta flip the switch. You need the magic boomerang to do this, I think. Unless you want to hit it with bombs. Yeah. I don't think I'd want to try. I don't have a key. But. I well, think we may have missed something here. Well, shit. key is in the one section we didn't explore on the left side, which we said was you worthless. I guess it's not so worthless. Yeah. Lovely. Anyway. Anyway, I'm back in this stupid room with the stupid statue and the stupid door. I wonder if it's stupid. Yeah, after that bit of loveliness there. And yes, the key was in the left section we didn't explore. Because we win all the internets. That was pretty bad. Then again, it's our fault for not exploring the dungeon to its fullest extent. There's never a useless room in the dungeon. Unless you're doing the third dungeon to this game. That one has a ton of useless rooms. Most of which are just there to piss you off. Okay. Now I have the key to this door. Yeah. It took us five minutes to realize where it was. Actually, no, it was more like two seconds. So now that we have the key to this door that we just majestically forgot existed, we can now open it. And hopefully that will not happen again. That's totally gonna happen again. You know it, I know it. It'll probably happen in the ice battles. AKA the king of doing things over again. <laughs> so yeah, they just decided to fire about four million turtles in our faces. Huh. 
Alright, now that we've actually managed to successfully do that, there's a warp in here. Well, doesn't this set up look familiar? Yeah, it's just like the original one just saw that, actually. Except you move this room. And now you get to fight the boss who gave you a lot of trouble when you were younger. Perhaps you should share this story. Well, I didn't know that you could kill him using the hammer. So I, I used to think you had to use bombs to get this ass. So. Oh, I didn't know he could do that either. Anyway, this boss is the Hull Master King. He has two attacks, really. He can shoot fireballs, which split into smaller fireballs, and he can swing his tail at you. Uh, in order to beat him, you gotta hit him with three bombs to destroy his mask, which is actually easier said than done, because the bomb blast striking this thing is very, very picky. Although you can also use uh, the magic hammer to hurt him. It's not so easy. And as mentioned, the bomb blast exploding on this thing is very, very picky. You might want to use the hammer, actually. It might be easier. to get really, really close. And actually, an interesting fact, uh, Wind Waker has a boss called the Helm... Helm... Was that Hel what was it? Hel yeah, it's Helm Rock. The Helm Rock King is very clearly inspired by this boss and that you have to destroy his mask and everything. But the Helm Rock King is a bird and the Helm of Sarver is like a scorpion or something. But it's clearly a throwback boss. So that's the end of this annoying boss. And you get a piece of heart for your efforts, and then you get the first of the seven crystals. Or eight crystals, sorry. Seven. seven. Oh, yeah, it is. And each crystal you get, you rescue one of the maidens, and they tell you a part of the story. And it plays Zelda's Lullaby. It's worth noting that in the actual Zelda timeline, A Link to the Past takes place after Ocarina of Time if Link dies during that game. Anyway, now that we have the magic hammer, pretty much everything is opened up to us in the overworld. We can go pretty much anywhere in the Dark World now, but what we're supposed to do is go to the Swamp Palace. However, since we have access now, there's a couple of things in the Light and Dark Worlds we can get now, including a nice item and a couple of other things. Several pieces of heart and a couple of other miscellaneous random junk that you can find lying around. Including an item that allows traveling to be done at a much quicker pace.
guys just a regular show. Now the item we're actually getting here, the Quake Medallion, is actually pretty important. Uh, if you've played The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, there are three medallions in this game. They're pretty much, uh, the same as the three, uh, spells that you get from the Great Fairies in that game. The, uh, Din's Fire, Thror's Wind, and Nuru's Love. You get three medallions of Quake, Bombos, and Ether. And you require the Ether and Quake medallions throughout the game. So we might as well pick them up now. In order to get the Quake Medallion, you gotta go to here and throw some random item into the uh, circle of stones. Here's the hint. So let's throw the sign in there, why not? <laughs> That's fine. And there's a giant fish. Who gives you the Quake Medallion? Alright then, now that we have that, our next stop would probably be to get the flute. So we can travel the overall faster. <laughs> only regular bombs at this point, but later on it will sell an item called the Super Bomb, which is very, very important. Get your Super Bombs here, little swipe and blah, <coughs> rat bastard. <laughs> but anyway... Here, you may remember this kid from, uh, The Light World. He gives you the shovel and asks you to dig up the flute. The flute will appear in the grove over there. Now, you're gonna want to be careful doing, uh, if you want to get this effect really well, you want to move slightly away from the kid. Oh. There you go, we'll be right back. That was a great success right there. Hmm. Move slightly to the left, because uh, if you do this right, the kid will actually disappear once you dig up the flute, even though he's playing right now. The flute is buried on the left side, uh, somewhere around here. If I recall. Oh, maybe it's up a bit. Yeah, yeah I think here. it's over here. Oh, first one. Anyway, the flute doesn't do anything quite yet, but that will change in a short while. But unfortunately...
This kind of reminds me of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, actually. Mm -hmm. Anyway, directly south of here, there's a grove of grass uh, made in a circle shape. Go south, go. Right. We might as well pick this up while we're here. If you use the magic flute there, uh, you'll get warped to a place where you can get a piece of heart. I actually think magic mirror. Magic mirror, yeah. You said flute. <laughs> Well, you know what I mean. The thing that lets you go to the light world dark world. Because inside this cave, there's a block puzzle and there's a... Oh no, it's a maze. I'm thinking of another place with a block puzzle. Anyway, now that we're in the light world, we might as well go get the flute. Because we can't even get into the village of thieves yet. It's still blocked off. Anyway, for some reason, after you beat Aghanim, the Kakariko Village theme just stops playing. It's kind of depressing. Because that's a nice song. And there's also these red guards. They're always alerted to your presence, no matter how many times you try to avoid them. So, might as well just... Oh, and if you're crashing this tree now... OH GOD, THE BEES! Anyway, if you take the flute to the old, uh, to the old man and play it for him, I'll give you a tip about playing it for the bird in the middle of the village square. And doing this nets you probably one of the best abilities in the game. In fact, it's required later. Mm -hmm. And you freeze a little bird. And the little bird will fly you all over the place. Anyway, we're gonna call it for this episode, so... We're just gonna, gonna fly off. off first. We're just gonna fly off, and you can warp to eight different positions. There's a ninth one that's added later on. Mm -hmm. But that's all for this part, so we'll see you guys in the next one.